So first of all, we can see that they've shown tumor increases in the study that are consistent with previous studies in the rodents. So the rodents used in the trial are sprayed dolly rats and the tumor increases they saw were in skin, liver, thyroid, sex, cord, gonadal, stroma, adrenal gland, kidney, and endocrine pancreas. So the tumor increases were not only consistent with previous studies in terms of the target organ, but also in terms of sex. Now, in addition to this, they found at doses equal or lower than the dose levels used to arrive at the current European acceptable daily intake. So that's the ADI. So at the dose levels in rodents that they arrived at, the European ADI on 0.5 milligrams per kilogram body weight a day, they found multiple benign and malignant tumors of blood, skin, liver, thyroid, nervous system, ovary, mammary gland, adrenal glands, kidney, urinary bladder, bone, endocrine, pancreas, and circulatory system. Now, they emphasize that these tumors are traditionally rare in Sprague Dawley rats. These particular rodents are commonly used by the regulatory agencies for the trial. They also used large numbers that you would see in trials, such as 50 of each sex. And the trials were two-year trials. So they followed regulatory sort of guidelines and protocols. So it will be very difficult for regulators to dismiss this study. Thank you.